Hello, welcome to Lab Fishing Video Channel. What we feel about the sea. A midwater otter trawl is towed by a single boat. Midwater trawling is a well aimed fishing activity. The fish shoals are located by sonar, but some midwater trawling can also be carried out on slightly scattered fish staying in a given layer of water, and the vessel is towing in the direction of the shoa. The fishing depth level, which is controlled by the net sounder, is regulated by the length of the warps and or the towing speed. Target species are pelagic, mainly fish and cephalopods, northern shrimp or Antarctic krill. A trawl is a method of net fishing in which a funnel shaped net is towed behind a boat to capture fish. There are bottom trawls, which primarily target ground fish that live on or near the seafloor, and mid water trawls that target fish in the mid and surface water column like Pacific Whiting. The net is set off a drum on the stern of a fishing boat and connected to the vessel by two heavy-duty tow cables. Each cable connects to a trawl door, which together act as wings keeping the net open horizontally. A float line and a foot rope keep the mouth of the trawl net open vertically. The mesh size of trawl nets must be more than 4.5 inches in most ground fish areas on the west coast to allow smaller, non-target fish to escape alive if caught in the net. Target species include Pacific Dover Sole, Sand Dabs, Sablefish, aka Black Cod, California Halibut, and a variety of rockfish. Trawling for ground fish is one of the most closely managed fisheries in the United States, which carries many regulatory costs. Area closures, gear innovations, science-based quota systems, and other measures protect sensitive marine habitat, minimize bycatch, and ensure every pound of fish is accounted for. Similar to bottom trawling, midwater trawling involves towing a large net through the water column. Trawls are designed to capture and trap the target species inside the code end as the net is hauled through the water. Trawl nets vary in length, 
mesh size, material, and toe speed depending on target species, but most are constructed of four mesh panels sewn together. Traditional trawling methods have received considerable negative attention due to their adverse effects on the benthic ecosystem. Major concerns include destruction of the seabed and the high level of bycatch of fish and other benthic organisms. Participation in the cod fishery has soared in recent years, escalating a dangerous race for fish during the A season, which begins on January 20. A fishery that would last a few months in the past has been reduced to just days, with vessels racing to catch fish, often in treacherous weather. One of the main tools afforded to the new harvester cooperatives under this catch-share program is the ability to manage incidental catch of other non-target species. The Trawl Catcher Vessel Co-ops members can minimize incidental catch of halibut and crab under the cooperative plan. 